hello guys so once again welcome back to chili Philly. and today i'm going to show you how to make a calculator that will give you result of whatever you enter the value and suppose i am multiplication of the given number 98 into 4 and it will give you 392 this is clear button and this is backspace square root cube and many functions so I'll show you how to make this calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all I have three files and one is HTML, second is CSS and third one is of JavaScript. So here I will write the HTML code and I'm giving it the title of calculator. And then we have to link our CSS file and that is a style sheet. So we are writing it and we have to reference it by its address and that is calculator underscore u dot css. Okay, and now inside the body, I am going to open a paragraph tag and I'm also going to close it. And inside this paragraph, I'm writing calculator In capital letters and then I'm going to open div and I'm also going to close it sorry like it and now I'm giving it the ID of calculator we will use this ID in the CSS file to make some animation and then I'm opening a form and also closing it the form is inside the ID of calculator and now inside the form I'm going to give some inputs first of all I'm giving a tabulation and then input and giving it the type of text for our display and giving it ID of display okay and uh, then I'm going to disable this uh, button because we don't want our display to manage by the user. So I'm writing this and then I'm opening one more input tag and giving it type of button and also giving it the ID sorry first of all I will give, give it the value and the value is C C is for clear it will create a clear button and giving it the ID of keys and here I am writing on click function this is a JavaScript we will see it in the next part and the function call is add to screen and inside the parenthesis in single quotation mark I am writing C and closing the parenthesis and closing the tag also and so now I am going to copy all this and then pasting it three more times and then this is for the backspace so I am writing like this for backspace id equals to keys on click equals to the second function we'll call is the backspace function okay and giving it parenthesis so it called the function and the third thing is value of square root sqrt and on click equals to the function called will be square root sqrt you can give it any name but you should keep in mind that you have to make that function in the javascript file also third one is power function and giving it parenthesis power of 3 id is same 
and this is uh, I'm writing like this x raised to 3 okay so now what we have to do is uh, I'm going to open the input tag and giving it the type of button and giving it the value of 9 okay and giving the ID of keys also that we have done in the earlier portion and also giving on click and add to screen and the value will be 9 and this will be completed okay so now I'm going to copy all this portion and copying it and pasting it three more times so then after there will be eight seven and a plus sign this will be same plus seven eight okay so after that now I'm going to copy all these four lines and pasting it here okay as you can see here so now what we have to do we just have to replace some characters here and the characters are 6 5 4 and a minus sign and we will add to screen the same minus 4 5 and 6 okay so I'm copying and pasting it one more time and here giving extract 1 2 and 3 okay so here they are also same 3 to 1 and the multiplication sign okay so now here we have to paste same thing for the rest of the buttons and the buttons will be value of zero dot then a modulo sign and a division sign and here division modulo dot and a zero okay now we are going to add some more buttons here and uh, we will add seven more buttons okay so I will show you how to make other button and then id is equal to key and value equals to absolute value id is the same and on click we are calling a new function called absolute function and now this function will give us the absolute value of uh, any number you have entered and absolute value is suppose you have entered any number like a minus sign minus 5 then it will give you plus 5 then flow function and I will show you this function and the JavaScript file and then exponential okay then absolute then the sale function floor FLR and then exponential exp okay and now here log round and is equals to okay and give it id is different and it is equal and function here 
simple way log function and then we'll round function and here will be answer function okay now the form is closed and d is closed now we have to mention the script file here and the source is calculator sorry underscore u dot js and closing it okay so now i'm going to save it and opening in the browser okay you can see this there is a display and you cannot enter anything in this display because we have added this button to disable and uh, now we have to add a break line so we will add here a break and saving it and opening the browser and refreshing it you can see here that there is a break so i'm copying this and pasting it here 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 and here okay so saving it and opening the browser and refreshing okay you can see here okay so that's it for this video and uh, i will show you how to make the css and javascript file in the next tutorial of this calculator so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the very next video